Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. I want to thank you for being here on the Valder Beebe Show. Once again, my next guest is talking great things. I've got two guests, as a matter of fact. I've got Dr. Lisa Richardson and Dr. Laura McElroy-Ross, excuse me. And they are here to talk about the hidden impact of COVID-19 that Americans may not, you guys may not be failing to understand. Dr. Richardson, Dr. McElroy, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna start with you, Dr. Richardson. You're the director of the Vision of Cancer Prevention and Control at the National Center for Chronic Disease Prevention and Health Promotion Centers of Disease and Control and Prevention. Your title is so long. You are just awesome. <laughs> what, what have you seen as one of the most drastic and potentially dangerous hidden aspects of COVID-19? Well, what we've noticed is that healthcare, you know, use has dropped tremendously, but in cancer screening, which is usually seen as optional, is dropped, you know, 90%, 95% at the beginning of the pandemic. And so what we're afraid of, you know, the hidden pandemic, as you know, you just said, is that people will be getting cancers um, that are not being detected early, that are, you know, going to be more advanced and leading to treatments that are more harsh and hard to cure cancer with them as well as more deaths occurring from cancer. We've made a lot of progress in the last couple of decades with the decreasing in the number of cancers uh, from people dying from cancer. And so we wanna maintain that and we want people to live you know, long and healthy um, and be diagnosed early if there's a problem. Thank you so much. I'm gonna to switch to Dr. Makarov. Dr. Makarov, you are a family physician and the senior VP of prevention and early detection of the American Cancer Society. Can you tell us what are some of the, the, the biggest concerns for providers who deliver the health care? Sure. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, a couple things I would say on that topic is that we want to remember that cancer screening really remains essential and that cancer screening is still a public health priority, even amidst the ongoing pandemic. So certainly, we want people to stay safe and continue to practice all of the good safety measures that CDC has recommended to all of us. But we also want people to get back on track with their cancer screening just as soon as possible and not forget to take care of their health um, and remember that their cancer screening is still important. Dr. Richardson, you know, uh, you're talking about people and their health care providers and screening. Mm -hmm. You have to have a really good relationship because, you know, they only give us 15 minutes. How do we do this? <laughs> Well, I think one of the things you do is to, you know, to call the office before you come in um, so that you'll know that it's safe there, that they're taking measures such as cleaning the office on a regular basis, wearing their mask, washing their hands, just to call and see what process and procedure is in place to keep you safe. Um, as you say, 15 minutes is not, you know, it's not a lot of time. And then once you get there to really, you know, dig into your health care and what your needs are, um, and what cancer screenings you're due for and to stay on schedule with those. You know, even though we say get screened for cancer, it really is about the, the follow-up and the getting screened, whatever interval is recommended that really helps us keep cancer under control. And I'm gonna ask Dr. Uh, um, Laura this, and this is a little bit off script. We did like a little survey, a lot of people They've lost their health insurance because they've been yeah. furloughed. They've lost their job and things like that. And I know this is not your area of expertise, but what do they say to their doctor when they still need to be seen? Sure. Yeah, it's such a big deal. Um, and really, it is an area that I'm deeply concerned about as in my role at the American Cancer Society, as well as in my clinical life, that patients are really being impacted by loss of their jobs and loss of insurance. And so the important things are a couple, a couple things. One, remember to take care of yourself. If you've lost your insurance, there's a couple places to go to look and find out where you can have get free or low cost screening. Those are places include um, CDC programs like the Breast and Cervical Early Detection Program or the colorectal programs in the states. So your state health department can help with that. You can also look um, for a community health center where you may be able to get care um, at a low cost, which could include cancer screening and your other primary care needs. And then I would really call on policymakers that this is why we need really sustainable solutions to this issue, that access to care is so important for both our cancer prevention, 
as well as long-term health, and that we know that access to care makes such a difference. So it's going to take all of us to come together and find the right solutions to uh, make sure this problem um, of the loss of jobs and the insurance issues isn't compounded um, even more um, because of the pandemic. I want to thank you both ladies, Dr. Richardson and Dr. Makarov. To hear a woman doctor talk to my audience is really, really important. For some reason, we think a female doctor is more empathetic, more understanding, and people follow suggestions of women doctors. I don't know. You call it discrimination if you want, but that's what they told me. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for being here. Dr. Laura, online. Dr. I'm sorry, Dr. Richardson, online. Where do they go to get more information? They can go to um, cdc.gov um, slash cancer and cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Thank you guys for making a difference in what you do. I really appreciate you being my Valerie BB Show guest this morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.